Ellen DeGeneres is considered to be one of the kindest people in Hollywood. With her own talk show and millions of dollars to spend, Ellen is known for her generosity and kindness towards other people. She has done too many kind things, so how can anyone not love her? Well, apparently Ellen is not as nice and kind as everyone seems to think she is. She has been receiving some bad press recently due to a series of allegations against her, and everyone knows, so let's take a look at the 10 celebrities who insulted Ellen DeGeneres on her own show. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number 10, Drew Barrymore. It's almost impossible not to love the Hollywood A-lister and sweetheart Drew Barrymore. The actress has been appearing on the big screen ever since childhood, and she has made a name for herself by being one of the most rebellious and talented actresses. And even Drew is extremely kind and sweet in real life. She had a hard time getting along with Ellen DeGeneres. This successful pair decided to launch a TV show called First Dates in 2017. The show was produced by Ellen and was narrated by Drew, and even though the reality show had everything in order to be a success and a hit, the dynamic behind the scenes ruined any potential. According to sources, these ladies had trouble getting along behind the curtains. The relationship was described as oil and water. Ellen expected to be the one calling the shots, but Drew thinks she should have some of the creative control because she's a movie star and people are tuning in to see her. Needless to say, that relationship never truly recovered after 2017. Number 9. Russell Brand Ellen sometimes has memory lapse, and one of the incidents was during the interview with Katy Perry. DeGeneres forgot that the singer had been married to actor Russell Brand. Before playing a game called Will You Parry Me on a 2017 episode of the show, the singer asked, Do I have to get married again? And guess what Ellen replied? You were not married. She clearly forgot an entire segment about Perry and then husband Russell Brand's married life on her own show. Though DeGeneres said she forgot, Perry pointed out that the host previously gave her wedding gifts on the show. His name is Russell Brand. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Got Russell. It. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Remember, you gave me some wedding gifts on this show. Yes, I do. Number eight, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake is definitely one of DeGeneres' favorite guests, so it made for a special moment when he insulted her for not knowing the lyrics to one of his songs. While telling the story about how Ellen sent him a tequila-inspired sing-along of his jam, Can't Stop the Feeling, Timberlake revealed that she repeatedly sang the line, Just Electric, Just Electric, Just Electric. It pretty clearly says, Just Imagine. Timberlake said to correct the visibly embarrassed host, and DeGeneres then pleaded with the audience to validate the air, which Justin grinned, I don't think anyone raised their hand. Number 7, Wendy Williams. We can't speak about outspoken people and not mention the infamous talk show host Wendy Williams. Known as the Shade Queen, Wendy is never shy to express her true feelings and thoughts about people. With her talk show, Williams has several segments dedicated to bashing and shading celebrities, and Ellen is often the subject of discussion behind the scenes. Even though Wendy has been a guest on Ellen numerous times, the dynamic between the two talk show hosts has never been wonderful. Their interactions are often described as like cold and joyless, and both of them have no problem hiding any disinterest. Wendy even threw shade after she lost and Ellen won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Daytime Talk Show Host. Number 6. Kathy Griffin One might assume that female comedians should stick together and support one another in order to survive the male-dominated entertainment industry. But when it comes to Kathy Griffin and Ellen DeGeneres, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Redhead Kathy is widely known for her outspoken mouth and very controversial standpoints. She has been involved in numerous celebrity dramas and feuds, which she all later transcribed into her book, Celebrity Run-Ins, My A to Z Index. From the Kardashians to Miley Cyrus, most celebrities were noted in the book, and Ellen DeGeneres, well, she's no exception. While the writer didn't mention DeGeneres by name, she did describe her as the short blonde talk show host. 
I'm almost positive a certain beloved daytime talk show host once had me kicked out of a backstage dressing room at the Emmy Awards, said Griffin. Apparently Ellen is so mean that all of Hollywood knows it. In a rebuttal, Ellen called Kathy very mean in a magazine interview, confirming that these two do not get along. Number 5. Joan Rivers Speaking of comedians not supporting one another, Joan Rivers is probably one of the most famous female comedians in history. The New York native first started doing stand-up in the 1950s and has made huge strides for female entertainers and comedians all over the world. If it wasn't for Joan, Ellen and similar comedians may not have been on our TV screens. But when it comes to Joan and Ellen's feud, Kathy Griffin also has a part in it. In her book, My Celebrity Run-Ins, Kathy describes how her feud with Ellen stemmed from DeGeneres not liking Joan Rivers. The late iconic comedian and Kathy Griffin were great friends, and they would often share their experiences with celebrities, including Ellen. Apparently, Ellen never appreciated Joan Rivers and what she has done for female-driven entertainment. Kathy describes in one chapter, where are you with Ellen? And she'd be like, ugh, still hates me. And she'd go, well, what about you? And I'd say, oh, she thinks I'm mean. I guess Ellen just simply does not get along with funny females and successful comedians. Number 4. Kelly Ripa Kelly Ripa, just like Ellen DeGeneres, has been a face of a morning talk show TV for years now. First appearing in 1983, the talk show host is known to have many co-stars along her side. One pair that had excellent chemistry and likability amongst audiences was Kelly Ripa and former football player Michael Strahan. The pair began co-hosting in 2012 and things seemed to be running great until Michael suddenly left the show in 2016. Everyone was shocked by the sudden decision, especially his co-star Kelly. But what does Ellen have to do with the messy situation? Well, when Ellen invited Strahan to appear on her show in 2017, Kelly Ripa was reportedly not too pleased. According to sources, Ripa thought cozying up with Michael was like telling the world that she had taken his side and was taunting Kelly. It's no surprise that the morning talk show host was furious with Ellen's decision, but apparently DeGeneres realized her mistake soon after the show aired and apologized to Kelly. Number 3. Susan Sarandon the Academy Award-winning actress Susan Sarandon also makes it on our list. The legendary actress is known to be one of the most vocal and open figures in Hollywood. Susan is never too shy to voice her concerns or even take part in discussions and feuds. So let's see why the iconic actress simply can't stand Ellen DeGeneres. Well, in 2019, a photograph of Ellen sitting next to the former U.S. President George W. Bush was released. The picture was taken at an NFL game in Dallas, and it sparked major controversy all over social media. The pair was noted to be having a lot of fun together, laughing and chatting along during the game, but why exactly is it such a bad thing? Well, George W. Bush is often called a war criminal for his military decisions and attacks. And while Ellen has defended her friendship with the former president by stating that she often gets along with people with different values and beliefs, it wasn't Bush's beliefs that sparked the drama. In the words of Susan Sarandon, DeGeneres framed the issue as simply a matter of hanging out with someone with different opinions, not a man repeatedly accused of being a war criminal. Number 2. Taylor Swift Taylor Swift's love life has been widely publicized. As fans and paparazzi began noticing her personal life, some made fun of having many partners and then singing about them. Ellen also thought it would be a good idea to talk about her numerous relationships in one of their interviews. She proposed a game in which celebrities would be displayed on a screen and Swift would reveal if they had ever dated. Swift made it clear that she was pretty uncomfortable with the game and she was yelling, stop it, stop it, stop. This makes me feel so bad about myself. Every time I come up here, you put a different dude there on the screen and it makes me question what I stand for as a human being. There's never been two guys on the screen who visits in a row. It's sad. What are, I, I don't know what I'm... You're supposed to ring But what? I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to. All right, I'll ring. Because they'll send me angry emails, Here. but I don't want to get them. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> Number one, Dakota Johnson. Finally, let's talk about Dakota Johnson, the actress who single-handedly started the hate bandwagon against Ellen DeGeneres. Unlike all the other celebrities on our list, Dakota has never said a bad word against the talk show host, but instead it's the things she said on The Ellen Show that revealed her true colors. Dakota appeared on the show in November of 2019, and the interview immediately started on an uncomfortable note. After Ellen accused Dakota of not inviting her to her birthday, the actress quickly corrected her mistake, stating that DeGeneres was in fact invited. But you saw her first at my birthday party, so I feel like I introduced her to you. Yes, well, yeah, I, I heard about, because I had left your birthday party before that happened. 
So what do you think about Ellen? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video, and thank you for watching. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.